What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is Eddie Wright and today we're doing things a little bit differently. This episode, we're going to talk about how I lost my GMG Jim Boy Prime. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to everything we have going on with the channel and stay tuned for even more. Back in April of this year, I started to experience issues with my GMG performance wise after updating it to the new app. After the update, I started to experience a black film over everything I cooked on the grill and I wasn't sure why. Here you can see in the picture on the bottom side of the drip shield, that is a very dark soot that's covering that piece. And it just basically came through the deflector shield and anything that it hit, instead of smoking it, it left that black soot that you see on everything here. And again, I had no idea why. So I started the troubleshoot. We cleaned everything, broke everything down, refired it, and we thought we had the issue resolved. But to no avail, it came right back just as fast. As you can see here with the fire pot, the pellets were burning, but they did not look like they were burning normally. It's really dark in that fire pot, and it looks like, if you can see around the screw areas, there's a blowback. And I wasn't sure where that was coming from because I'd never seen that before. So I got online with tech support, tried to see what we could figure out. They had no idea what was going on. We did a bunch of resets, reset it back to factory, reset it back to the original firmware, started to use the legacy app. And again, it came right back each and every time. And at this point, I started to get frustrated. But after having the pit for only three years, but cooking thousands of pounds of protein on it, it really came to a shock to me as what was going on. And I hated to feel like I was about to lose it. So we began to try everything again that we could Again, attaching the pictures here, you can see from the lighter spots where the air is coming through the fire pot and the smoke, but it was still so much soot that it was leaving lighter marks on the bottom of the uh, drip shield. Again, more picks attached. I had no idea what was going on, but after several conversations with the team and tech support over at GMG, they decided to send me more parts, gaskets, and we replaced those. And still, no avail. The pot burn was very inconsistent, very dark. The same pellets I've been using, I've always used was just barbecue delight and it never happened like that before. So I was essentially up shit's creek. They didn't have an answer. I didn't have an answer. And it looked like this is essentially an end of life cycle for my GMG Jim Boy Prime. This was the reassembly after replaced the external uh, foam gaskets. And here it is after I got extremely frustrated and just decided to call it quits and send it home with one of my guys. Green Mount Grills makes an amazing product. It's done a lot for my channel. And even now, as I look at the analytics, five out of my top 10 videos are Green Mount Grills content. So it sucks to not be able to put on great Green Mount Grill content as you guys love to see. But with that being said, I know you guys have heard, and so have I. Green Mountain Grills has transitioned, and now we are getting ready to have something new eventually once it ships. We're gonna have the ripped wood chip grill, and this is by Green Mountain Grills. I'm excited, you should be excited, everyone's excited. This is new technology, and I cannot wait to get my hands on my ripped and see how it performs with this new wood chip technology. So, Again, like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep you guys updated with as much information as we can. And when it gets here, we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna roll you guys some amazing content with this wood chip smoker. Thank you guys for your support. We'll see you soon.